All right, here with head coach Dustin White. Coach, uh, season came to a little bit of an abrupt end due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, before the season came to an end, though, your team was really hitting a stride. You guys improved your team score in four of your final five tournaments. You posted your best team score in your final tournament of the season down at the Bandon Dunes. So how do you feel like the season was progressing before the stop? Uh, I mean, we, we were progressing nicely. I think that uh, – kind of our message to the guys was really you're two thirds of the way there. We had, you know, two out of the three rounds uh, were generally were pretty solid. It was just the one round and not necessarily even the whole round. It might've just been a stretch within that round where things just kind of got away from us. But I mean, we, we could see it. The, the guys could sense it. And I mean, they were the ones that were actually out there doing it. And so we just tried to stress the fact that, look, you guys are getting there. You're getting a little bit better each week. Don't just focus on what the result was but you guys just focus on the fact that you're making these strides week in and week out. Everyone's contributing. You know, we're preparing as well as we can at home. When we get there, we're learning as much as we can about the golf course. Um, and it, it was a team effort. I mean, everybody was doing their part. There was great energy when we were on the road and when we were at home. And so uh, there was just a lot that contributed to it. Um, and we were, I mean, we were excited about the, the events that we had left, but unfortunately that'll have to wait. Yeah, uh, you, you did have a young team in 2019, uh, 2020. Uh, you guys had four freshmen in and out of the lineup at different parts of the year. Each of them had their strong moments, uh, but, and they each had their growing and learning moments as well. One of them, uh, Christian Yanagi, was a very strong freshman for you all. He finished third on the team in scoring. But how did just those four freshmen really develop throughout the year, and how did this season really set the foundation for them moving forward in their Cougar career? Well, yeah, as I said the other day, talking to Matt Chaz now is, you know, when you go out and you watch these kids play and you recruit them and you find out we want these kids here, you do that because you know that they can come in and play and make a contribution right away. And the fact that all four of them have played uh, just speaks volumes to, you know, where they are with their golf um, and where we are as a program. I mean, it's, it's ultra competitive each week when we're at home qualifying and practicing and that's what we want. We want things to be more competitive here. So when we go on the road or we play in a tournament, um, it, you know, it doesn't seem like, you know, Oh, you know, what do we do now type thing. Um, but yeah, uh, Pono, um, you know, his sister played here on the women's team. And so he, you know, he wanted to be a kook from the very beginning. Uh, we we're fortunate enough that he, that he didn't end up here. Uh, he's kind of got that real laid back attitude. He's from Hawaii. So, generally doesn't get too up or too down during the round. Uh, it just kind of goes with the flow. Um, but really, I mean, our freshman class in general, like I said, the fact that all of them have played, they've contributed, they've learned a lot about college golf and themselves. Uh, and the, really it's not that much different than maybe what they expected it to be. Um, they're just trying to be a little bit better version of themselves each time they're out on the golf course. And uh, I mean, the future, it, it looks bright. I mean, they've got a lot of experience after this year playing so much. And so, uh, we're excited about where they're headed. You also had two strong freshmen that put a put a really strong senior campaign together. Nicholas Chiam and Daniel Kohler. They were normally at the top of the of the leaderboard for you all. Um, just talk about the seasons that they had. They both finished one and two for you in scoring average this season. Uh, it was very unfortunate that their senior seasons were cut short. But you know, talk a little bit about their senior campaign and how were they able to lead and guide these freshmen through their first collegiate season as well. I mean, they, uh, you know, that's what you want out of your seniors. Uh, you know, they're both, uh, they're both really good kids. I mean, kids to me. Um, but, uh, you know, they, I think they recognized from the start that this year was going to be about, um, you know, more of the, the leadership and the unity and, and the culture piece and that they had a chance to take that role on. And they've done a really nice job. Uh, I would consider both of them more of the lead by example kind of guys are not they're not super vocal but they are willing to you know take some of those younger guys under their wing and show them things that maybe they wish they would have done you know different or better when they were a freshman um but they both come a long way in their four years here uh they've been our more consistent performers they've handed down some of the knowledge when we go to a tournament or to a golf course they've played before uh they've done a nice job of helping the guys out and kind of, you know, kind of pointing them and guiding them around um, yeah, unfortunately, I think they saw the season ending much differently than it did. And so did we, um, you know, it's, I guess it remains to be seen whether they'll come back 
for another year with everything that's going on. But uh, nonetheless, the time that they've spent here, uh, you know, we've enjoyed having them. They've done a really, really nice job in a lot of ways of team and academics um, and their golf. And so, um, you know, they, like I said, they've, they've done a nice job. They stepped up to the plate this year. They played some really good golf. And more importantly, they, you know, they kind of passed down some of the stuff that they had learned uh, back to when they were freshmen. Looking back at this 2019-2020 uh, season, what can you guys take out of it as you move on to 2020 and 2021? I know there's a lot of uncertainty going on with, with that season. A lot of things still need to be determined. But what can you take out of this season as you prepare for the next a, a lot of things, you know, I feel like, um, overall we played, we played a really diverse schedule. We played some new tournaments this year, which was good to kind of get everyone out of their comfort zone. Um, and, and have to kind of get comfortable being uncomfortable. That's something we really tried to preach. Um, I think moving forward, it's going to be sort of the same thing. Uh, we have some guys now with some of the younger guys who have more experience. Uh, we have a really good schedule that's set up in the fall. And at this point in time, all we can do is continue to do everything that we can with these guys um, with the current environment and just keep them, keep them motivated keep them ready, keep them sharp. Uh, even if it is without a golf club, um, whether it's their fitness or their mental or, you know, reading books, listening to podcasts, there's just a variety of things that we're trying to get these guys to do with some extra time to really just keep their head in the game and also hit the refresh button at the same time. I mean, normally this, this time of year, we're going 100 miles an hour. We're traveling nearly every week, uh, and we're, we're here at home. We've got busy schedules as well, and so I think there's a lot of ways these guys can take a step back to figure out, you know, what direction do I want to go going forward? What are some of the areas that I really want to focus on? And they have the time to do that, um, but just be very specific and intentional with what that is. And so, you know, I, I imagine teams are doing a variety of things right now, We'd like to think that, you know, we're going to be one of those teams that gets better during this period of time and doesn't just sort of, you know, get complacent or realize that, you know, we can't really do much anyway. So um, that's not who we're going to be. We're going to do what we can to get better, uh, continue to get closer together um, and keep that energy high. So when we come back in the fall, that, uh, that we're ready to go and we're excited to play. All right, Coach. Well, appreciate your time. Thank you for uh, looking back on the 2019-2020 season with us. Uh, best of luck. Uh, stay, keep social distancing and go Cougs. Will do. Thank you. Go Cougs.